Judge Julian Clary still with us. Are you enjoying yourself? I, I love this show, yes. It's good fun, isn't it? Let's come and eat. <laughs> Well, we're we doing should, anchovies now. Yes, aren't we do. We? Because before we're going to uh, um, reveal which uh, uh, recipe one, what I wanted to do is to show you a little masterclass on anchovies. Okay? Mm. Often people they get freaked out about anchovies. I don't know why. As soon as you mention anchovies, oh no, 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 I don't like it. There are different anchovies you can buy on the market, and uh, the, 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 the reason why they are different is because each anchovies you can use in a different uh, uh, recipe. Okay. For so example, let's here. talk about this one on the uh, uh, this one here. These are anchovies in olive oil. Okay, they usually come in a tin. Yeah. Fantastic when you cook. So, for example, if you create in a sauce, or if you want to put it with uh, a little bit of olive oil and and break it down into the oil, it gives a natural salty flavors they sort of to the dish because the... they completely melt down. Okay. So, if you're not a fan of anchovies, try the one in oil and melt them down into a sauce. You will never realize. Can that... you buy them ready melted down? <laughs> you can. Yeah, you can very good you, question. Yeah. You can buy an anchovy paste. Okay, yeah. so then it already melted down, it, it melts oh. straight away into the sauce. The other one is anchovies in salt. These are very Mediterranean. You find them in jars. The only thing that you have to do is pick up the anchovies, rinse them under cold water, uh -huh. and use them exactly the same way you would use the one in oil. So it's okay? easier to buy those, really? Easier to buy these. So this one, they last for longer, though, because ah. salt will preserve them for longer. The other anchovies, which uh, is the one that you usually put in the salad, is the one marinated in vinegar. Okay, these you can just pick them up and eat them and put them into salads. They're sweet, they got the kind of vinegary flavors going through the anchovies. They are superb. Okay, Fantastic. especially if you're making a bruschetta, toasted bread with a bit of cherry tomato, basil, few anchovies in vinegar, the white one on top, amazing. Okay, and you can recognize them very quickly because the one in vinegar, they are white. You want to try? It's very educational, yes. You want to try? Go oh, on then. See, oh. I, I've got a problem when I see anchovies. I don't oh, mind okay. them in olives. No. I don't, and I like them in paste and sauces, mm. but when I see them... Oh, come on. Why? Because they're slimy. I don't know, it's slimy. just all the tiny bones oh. and... Oh, what do you think? Beautiful, Suits. yes. I'm very happy. They're beautiful. You put them in salad. You can imagine, you know, on the bread. This one, they're a little bit stronger. Oh. So but this one, anchovy, amazing. Anchovy, or anchovies, are in... Uh, the last recipe. Yes. So what Actually, it's the last choices? recipe, and you haven't been voted because you have to choose between my roasted pollock and potato puttanesca <laughs> or my butterfly roasted leg of lamb with summer salsa, and I can tell you that the winner is 67%, the butterfly roasted leg of lamb with summer salsa. Yes, yeah, I'm about that. Let's so over. I'm taking... Of course, I'm taking my anchovies with me. Okay, now, uh, Julian, what I, what I want you to do, yes. I'm, I want you to express yourself with the roasted vegetables. Okay. The way I, so I got some peas, cherry tomatoes, onions, courgettes, uh, beans, I got garlic with the clove on, because you, you, sorry, with the skin on, because I do, when you roast them, you want to leave the skin on, because otherwise uh, uh, they get bitter. I've never had a roasted peas, then. See? I was actually, when I gave this recipe about uh, the Please vegetable with roasted... Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted peas. Everybody said, roasted peas? What are you talking about? And I, and I thought, guys, in Italy, we, whenever we do roasted peas, we always pour peas in there because they become crunchy and absolutely beautiful. Lovely. So what you do, if you pick everything up, mm -hmm. put them here, dress them the way you want. You can pour a thyme, you can pour basil, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, anchovies. I'm going to leave I you see. to do it. Lovely, thank okay? you. Toss everything together and then we put them in the lamb when I'm ready. Hours of fun. Um, <laughs> no. Here we're going to prepare a nice summer salsa. Yeah. Okay. I go fresh mint, which works beautiful with lamb and flat leaf parsley. Lovely. Into a blitzer with shallots, onions, with garlic, capers, anchovies. Yeah. Of course, the um, juice of one full lemon Lovely. and extra virgin olive oil as and when okay. it becomes nice and creamy. Now, let's talk about the lamb. Leg of lamb. Okay. And we spoke about butterfly and leg of lamb. Uh, uh, if I can give you a suggestion, get your butcher to do it because it's a technique. <laughs> well, what's happened is a technique that unless you do it over and over again, I would suggest to go to your butcher and say, can you butterfly and take the bone away? But I just want to show you, this was a leg of lamb. What you're doing, you open it up. It's called butterfly because again, I don't know why. <laughs> It should look like a butterfly. It looks like a stingray. Do you think it looks like a butterfly? Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> no, okay. 
please don't do that. OK. So, <laughs> what I got, I got a, a little bit of... Uh, uh, <laughs> this, this your mustard, OK? So I'm going to put the mustard on top of the meat like this, OK? There are more delicate ways to do this by using little brushes put into a bowl. Why? If you got fingers. Uh, runny honey, you put it there. Wow. Look at that. And what I'm doing here is just massage the marinade into the inside part of the lamb, like that, OK? Beautiful. So once I've done that, I go rosemary uh, sticks here. Now, rosemary, what you have to do, just leave them whole, because they can take the heat. Don't, don't chop them up or anything like that. Then I've got a, a couple of garlic cloves, and I'm going to puree them, just like that. So you puree, you pick it up, you sprinkle all over the Lamb again. How are you doing with those veg? Oh. Look, I've done my the letter J. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need your help, I Dino. Am... It's a machine. What's happening there? It's got a life of its own. I didn't even touch anything. It just kicked well, off. That, that's cool. That's cool. It's a virgin olive oil on top. Are you making the salsa? Okay, no. Look at that. Smells good. Beautiful. <clears throat> that's it. That's you fine. Done? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Just put in a little, uh, um, in a little, little plate dish. for me. That's yeah. fine. Now, when I said express yourself, not like uh, a painting. I mean, uh, in the marinades. <laughs> in the marinades. So, that's it. Bam. That's it. Marinades. <laughs> Happy now. Uh, yeah. Salt and pepper, a little bit of Salt. herbs. Oh, yes. Uh, OK, so what I got here with the lamb. Now is the time that you roll the lamb, OK, like this. And then the only thing that you have to do, guys, you have to make sure that the lamb is nice and... Ooh. Come here. It's nice and tight, OK? So you make a... No I can show you the butcher way to do it, but nobody at home... I can uh, show you a butcher way to do it. It's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do <laughs> is... Uh, uh, to make sure you put probably about four or five uh, uh, string, just to make sure that everything is nice and tight. OK. What have you done there? Have you I've spilled yourself? oil oh, all down. No. That's embarrassing, isn't it? No, that's, that's, that's part of cooking. I know. It's part of cooking. Then you get your lamb, you put it on a baking tray. Lovely. I just need to wash my hands. Sorry, Sorry Bella. Now, are you, have you put any herbs in there? Any rosemary? Yes, loads of herbs. Fantastic. All looking lovely. Do you want me to get rid of Basil them? Basil is not usually an herb to put into roasting because it will kill. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it because this is your veg. OK. OK? You'll have, you'll have one you made earlier, no doubt. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> we do, we do. That's what I <laughs> Now, how do we cook lamb? It's very simple. 220 degrees, your oven, very high. And we start with 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you lower your oven to 180, and then you carry on for another 20 minutes. And this gives you a perfect medium rare lamb. Oh, wow. Okay. So quite 40 quick minutes. Then. 40 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes at 220, 20 minutes at 180. Because 220, it creates the skin. 180 degrees, it cooks inside. The beautiful vegetable goes in there, the same timing of the lamb. So once you're done, you just put everything in there and the job is done. All right. But of course, we have one prepared earlier. Yes. Yeah. 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 And the reason why we have one prepared earlier, because I always say with meat, especially with lamb, because it's nice and juicy, you need to leave it to rest, because then when you cut in, it's going to be beautiful and moist. How long for a piece of meat like that? To rest? Yeah. Uh, probably about 10 minutes. OK. It doesn't okay? go cold? The worst thing is when you serve lamb that is very hot, you will not appreciate the sweetness of the lamb. Make sure that you do it a, a medium heat. Julian, look, do you have a signature dish? Have you got something that you love to just keep doing? No, I really, I really don't like cooking at all. You know, really? a nice piece of toast would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you know, I, I mean, White I love White bread, watching... butter. You make it all look so easy. That's look, the thing. But isn't easy, it? it is easy to be honest. Look, we, we just rolled a piece of lamb in the oven, and the job is done. Well, that would come out like shoe leather if I did it. I know it would. Not if you follow my recipe. Trust me. It, that the, is perfectly And done, the other thing it? I want to say, I mean, look how perfect it is in the video. The other thing I want to say, which is very important to me, uh, uh, lamb farmer didn't have a good year this year mm -hmm. because, of course, the winter has been very long, so not a good spring. <coughs> so please eat more lamb because we must support the lamb farmer all yeah. over the country. Very, yeah. very important to do that. I don't think, um, don't think that lamb had a particularly good year either. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's now, it's now in my hands, in let's do lunch hands, is yes. absolutely fine. Okay. Yeah. If he has to go, may as well go Perfect this way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is how you make my beautiful butterfly roast leg of lamb with a summer sauce. Looks incredible. Looks incredible. Beautiful. Look at your vegetables. Lovely. Look at that. Have a. Uh, there you go. Try a little you. bit of the salsa as well. There yeah. You Thank you. Can have a roasted pea. They don't go all soft. Those peas. They're quite they, nice. they, they got they got a, a nice little crunch. The other thing with lamb, when you slice it, oh. then is the time to season with salt. If you season earlier during the cooking, the moisture goes away. Okay. Anyone in the audience want to come and try? You gotta come down, it's so come good. On, come, come on, come down, down come down, come down. Oh. oh, yeah. Like oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Hello. Come on in. What's your name, Bella? Anne. One second. Sorry? Anne. Hello, Anne. Anne. Welcome to the show. You obviously like lamb. I do. That's Julian, this man. Come on, I'm going to do a little bit of salsa. Hi, that's... darling. There Someone you else. go. Yeah. Here. What's your name? Lloyd. 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 Come here, Lloyd. Come here. It's Lloyd's birthday today. He's 18. I found out in the oh. anime. <laughs> What do you guys think? Really good, actually. Yeah. It's good, yeah. is it? What do, what do you think Beautiful. about the summer salsa? Beautiful with it. Oh, well, good? Salsa. Yeah. Let's yeah, yeah, well, thank you very much for coming. Thank, thank you. you and have oh, a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Enjoy your birthday. Thank you very much. Another okay. winner. Absolutely brilliant. Hello, Brian. We've been in touch with your pictures. Here's Dylan with his cheesecake, and he's age six from Kidderminster, sent oh, it look by at his him. mum. He looks very proud. Yeah. Yesterday we launched our search for our youngest viewer. Here's Tiny Noah from Ayrshire in Scotland, who's just <laughs> four weeks old. He's having a nap. Uh, and in the lead is Millie from Norfolk, who's only four days old. Oh, he's not actually technically watching the show, though, is he? No, they're both asleep. Okay. If you know someone who's even younger than four days old, who is a fan, then send in a picture of them watching us on telly. That's it for today. All our recipes are on our website. As well as details, you can get involved in the show. Thanks to Julie and Clary. Yay!